Okay, good morning. Happy Sunday. Thank you guys for coming to service. I know we're a little bit different today because we're not here together in our worship room, but we are here together. You're in your living room. We're here, but we're here together to worship God. So let's all get together. We'll worship God together. But first, before you guys start, I want you to look down and see if you guys are wearing PJ. I want you guys to see if you washed your face or brushed your teeth or combed your hair. If you guys haven't yet, go right now, go quickly, make sure you guys change your clothes, brush your hair, brush your teeth, wash your face, and get ready to worship God together. We want to be in our best appearance, our best attire when we're worshiping God. And also, don't be slouching on the floor or rolling around. I want you guys to get on a chair, get on the sofa, get sit, sit up straight, have fun when we're worshiping God together. Okay, so bring your mom and dad. Bring your brother, sister, bring your dog. Make sure you guys are all together and worshiping God. And we're here together, okay? We're not separated um, spiritually, but we're here together. And God loves it when we're worshiping together, all right? So I love you guys very much, and let's have service. still want you guys to sing loud and happy as though you were here at church, okay? The song is called Happy Day. Don't make it a sad day, but a happy day. And remember, even though we're all separate, we're still one family, part of the AKUMC family. So sing with me as you sing Happy Day, not Sad Day. Smile. Greatest day, Mr. Lee. That this be 
again I look upon the cross with you die. I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside. Once again I thank you. Once again I pour out my life. But his praise and the circumstances were different and um, things are a little different right now but father we believe that you're in control we believe that you're here and we believe that you still take pleasure in our worship so father even though we're all separated even though um, we don't know what's going on father that you are here and we've come here to see you we've come here to know you we've come here to worship you so father as we listen to the sermon so just conduct this service. Father, would you help us meet you? Would you speak to us? Would you touch us? Would you just be here all around us? Um, and that nothing's different because you're here. And we're here to worship you. So we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey guys, what's up? I know it's a little bit different here because you guys aren't here, but uh, I really miss you guys. I miss you, Sonu. You sit over there. Otto Cho, man. Chris Chun, I see you right there. I see all you guys. Caleb, Maru, Yeru. Miss you guys. But um, yeah, so we can open our Bibles. The scripture comes from Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. So let's read together, okay? One, two, three. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Okay, guys. Well, welcome again to church. Um, I hope you guys are had a good praise time with Mr. Stefan and Mr. Mark. And um, I hope you guys are ready to hear the word now. So... If we look at to the next slide, we have this question that we've been talking about almost the whole month, right? Of how can we glorify God? Now, what is it that we have for an answer for this? If we can go next slide, we can glorify God by loving Him and obeying Him, right? So as much as you guys love God, and as much as you guys say that you love God, you guys also have to obey Him, and that way we are able to glorify God. Now, two weeks ago, uh, we talked about the first steps that God's people took to the promised land, right? He went, they went down the Jordan River, and from there, they had to cross. And what did God do? God helped them um, by cross, being able to cross the river. And now last week, we talked about the wall of Jericho, and God brought down the walls of Jericho so his people could defeat their enemies. Now this week, we will be learning about another large battle, a huge battle that the Israelites fought, and they were against five kings and the armies, okay? So we will also see, if we go next slide, that God made the sun stand still and gave his people victory. Now, it sounds kind of different, but what we'll do is we'll listen to this story, we'll watch this video of taking the land, and then we'll get back together and we'll talk more about this, okay? So let's watch this video. God was with his people as they entered the promised land. Joshua and the Israelites had defeated the cities of Jericho and Ai. They made peace with their neighbors, the people of Gibeon. One day, the Israelites came to a place ruled by five kings. The kings did not love God or worship him. They had heard about God's people and were afraid. One king called to the other four kings in the land. He said to them, help me attack Gibeon because it has made peace with Joshua and the people of Israel. So the five kings joined forces and went up with all their armies to fight against Gibeon. The men of Gibeon sent a message to Joshua, help us, save us, all the kings who live in this land are fighting against us. So Joshua and his whole army went to Gibeon to help them. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of the kings for I have handed them over to you. Not one of them will be able to stand against you. 
Joshua and his army marched all night from where they were staying, and they surprised the five kings' armies. As the Israelites fought, God confused the kings' armies and helped Israel defeat their enemies. The five kings' armies fled. The Lord sent hail from the sky to stop them. The battle was not over. Joshua needed more time to fight before the sun went down. So Joshua prayed to God, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and moon over the valley. The sun stood still and the moon stopped until Israel and Gibeon defeated the kings. The sun did not set for almost a full day. There has been no day like it before or since. As the Israelites traveled in the promised land, they took over many other cities. God fought for his people and helped Joshua and the Israelites conquer the land God had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God gave the Israelites peace and rest from their enemies for many years. When Joshua was old, he reminded the Israelites about all the great things God had done for them. The people said, we will worship the Lord because he is our God. Then Joshua died. Joshua's name means the Lord is salvation. God fought for Joshua and the Israelites, saving them and giving them victory over their enemies. Sinners can look to God for victory over sin and death. God brought us salvation by sending His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and rise again. Wow, what an awesome story that is, right? We have the story of God's people needing God's help to defeat the enemies, and God provided this help in such an amazing way. He had the sun stand still so that the people were able to continue to fight and be able to have victory over the war, right? Now, in this story, we see from the very beginning with the Jordan River and the wall of Jericho, and there's so many different areas, the moments where they needed help, and God was being faithful and being able to help um, then until the very end, because God keeps his promise. Even though sometimes the Israelites were not being faithful and they were going against God, there are, there are times, but God continues to remain faithful and that he was able to help them um, keep his promise until the very end. Now, God's promise to give the people the land was fulfilled, was given to them at the end of Joshua's life. Right? So when um, everything was done, that was at the end where Joshua um, died. And God gave them the victory and let them continue to have peace um, as years were going on. Now, if God was able to give all of that to his people, how are they glorifying God? Right? If God gave you guys so many things, if God was able to give you guys you know, home to live in, food to eat, friends to play with, toys to play with, how are you guys glorifying God as well too, right? Even though we are not here together to worship in this room at church, are you guys glorifying God at home? Are you guys glorifying God when, you know, are you guys ready to worship God, right? Maybe today might be a little bit different. Maybe it's your first time worshiping God at home, so maybe you're wearing pajama, or maybe you're just lying down on the floor, but it's okay. Next week, I want you guys to be ready to worship God. I want you guys to be worshiping God with your best clothes, right? Even though we're not at church together, I want you guys still to be wearing your best clothes. I want you guys to brush your hair, put in a ponytail, put gel or mousse or whatever it is that you guys do with your hair. I want you guys to do that, and that's, why, that's how we're glorifying God. And then I want you I want you to tell your parents, you know, like take a picture of me worshiping God so I can show my friends how I worship God. So I want you guys to try that next week. And sometimes we forget about what the, all, of all the things that God has given us, right? Of all the things that God has done for us. But I want you guys to remember that when you forget. And when we sin, when we do something bad, when we don't glorify God, when we don't love Him as much as we should, when we don't obey what He says to do, I want you guys to take that moment and pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Right? Ask God and say, 
God, can you please forgive me for the sin that I have committed? Can you please forgive me for not glorifying you more and not loving you and not obeying what you have um, said for us to do? And God will forgive you. But I want you guys to keep that in your minds. Keep that in your heart every day. You know, even though we're stuck at home, even though we can't go out, even though we can't um, come to church or play with our friends outside, sometimes it can get annoying. But I want you guys to keep in your heart that we still need to obey God. We still need to love God. And that way we can glorify God as well too. Now, as we continue on this series, we will see... um, how they live in the land that God has promised them. Okay, so we'll continue to look at that. And when we, when we, when you guys think about just the the amount of things that God has done for us, like God fought for Joshua and the Israelites, and He saved them, and He gave them victory over the enemies. Now I want you guys to look that God can overcome anything over death, over over our sins, right? God will overcome this time that we have. Don't be sad. Don't be afraid. Just trust in God. Um, Pray to God more. Have this time with God. Read your Bible more, right? Do your devotionals. And spend this time with your family, okay? I want you guys to love each other more. Be patient with each other more. Be patient with your mom and dad. And I'm sure your mom and dad will be patient with you guys as well too. But I want you guys to spend this time more with each other, love one another, and more more so love God. Okay? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for this message that you have given us on Joshua and the Israelites. We pray, Lord, that just as much as the Israelites um, and Joshua had faith in you, that they will be able to overcome um, and be victorious and within this journey, Lord. We pray, Lord, that we are we ourselves will be able to be able to turn to you, have faith in you, um, love you more, and that way we can glorify you more. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We pray for all our friends that are at home um, together just worshiping you. We pray, Lord, that you will be able to bring um, just your presence upon them. We pray that they will be able to worship you no matter where they are at. We thank you, Lord, for this time, and we pray this all in your son's name. Amen. Okay, um, let's take offering. I know that you guys, it's kind of hard. There's no offering basket going around. But wherever you are at, okay, we have our offering basket here at church. But wherever you are at, um, just take your offering. Give it to your mom and dad. Tell them that you want to give offering to church, to God. Um, Pray for the offering together, and we will sing God is so good together as well, okay? pockets to you um, in many different ways that you have for us. Lord, we pray, we thank you so much for just blessing us with the house that we live in, the food that we eat, the toys that we play with, the books that we read. And we pray that we will be able to offer up to you just all the thanksgiving that we have um, through this offering. We pray that you will be able to bless us and continue to 
Um, give us comfort during this time. We thank you, Lord, and we pray this all in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, announcements. Now, you guys are home. You guys are um, probably with your parents, with your family at home. It can get a little bit... Um, you guys might feel a little bit tired because you guys can't go out and play or you guys can't see your friends um, as you guys would if you guys were on break. But I want you guys to spend this time again at home. Make sure you guys spend it with your family. We are still washing our hands even though you guys are at home. So make sure you guys wash your hands um, often when you're at home. And guys, you know, this thing will pass. God will overcome this this virus that's going around and soon we will be able to come together and worship here at church um, we will church is always going to be here God is always going to be here so when that day comes where we're here together to worship together I can't wait to see all of your beautiful faces um, I hope you guys are doing well with your devotionals your Lent calendar you know even though we're at home we still have Easter coming up. We want to be able to worship God through that as well, too. So make sure you guys continue to do your Lent, uh, your Lent calendar. And um, your parents have Kakao Talk, so they're always going to be connected with us. They will always know what's going to happen at church. We will always have service online. So you guys will not be separated from us. Physically, we won't be together, but spiritually, Mentally, emotionally, we'll be always together. Um, and throughout the week, I might throw out a mission to you guys, okay? There might be something that your parents will get on Kakao. So keep your parents, tell your parents to check Kakao often. And if there's a mission, I want you guys to try it out, okay? And we will see uh, who is able to complete that mission throughout the week. All right, guys. Um, wherever you are at, Let's all stand. We will close with the Lord's Prayer. And we'll see you guys next week. All right? Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, guys. See you next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.
I love you. I miss you. AKUMC Hiking.